Hi everyone, David A. Cox here with Tech Talk America, and today I'm going to be teaching all of you at home how to restore data from iCloud if you should accidentally delete something off of your iPhone, your iPad, or your Mac. Coming up next on TechTalkAmerica.com. So you can probably imagine the number of people that I've worked with over these years, I've seen this happen quite a bit, where someone accidentally deletes something and they freak out and panic. The first thing you should do is not panic. There are actually quite a few different options for recovering different types of data these days. Uh, it's just the pricing all depends on how bad is it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of free methods today and then I'm gonna give you a resource if none of those are effective. Starting with the easiest, which is actually through iCloud itself. So what you're gonna to need to do this on is you're gonna need a computer, it just works way easier, and go on the web to iCloud.com. From there, you're gonna sign in with your normal Apple ID information. And from there, when you're signed in, go into settings, the little gear you'll see here. And then from the next screen, scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see advanced. Now, this is where you're gonna find a lot of the information but not necessarily everything. So uh, this is where you can go, for example, to find files that you have accidentally deleted off of your desktop or your documents folder on your Mac if you were using iCloud Drive. Now, if you are maybe watching this video just so you know what to do, this might be a really good argument for you to enable that feature if you have not already. Restoring contacts and calendars is actually pretty straightforward, again, through the same location. So you're just gonna go in here, you can see different dates and times that your computer and your devices backed up your calendar and contact data, find which one has it before it was deleted, and then just restore everything. The next item is photos. Now you can actually do this through the web, you can do this through your mobile devices, or you can do it through the Photos app on the Mac. Whichever method you choose, just look for the album called Recently Deleted. Now iCloud will store data typically for 30 to 45 days. Uh, it kind of depends on how much data you have, frankly. Um, but it will hold onto that data. You can select whatever you want and instantly restore it onto all of your devices. Now, if that doesn't work for you, or if you accidentally maybe emptied the trash before you realized that you needed something in it, uh, there is another way to get it back and uh, it involves a piece of software. It's fairly straightforward. We have a class on it already produced. It's a few months old, so it's me pre-beard. Uh, but if you want to check it out, the name of the piece of software is called Phone Paw, and it can restore way more than just photos, I should mention. It can restore things like old text messages. Uh, it's used a lot of the time in different crime cases uh, for getting back that kind of data. So anything you need, Phone Paw can probably take care of it. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Hope you enjoyed this, everyone. Leave us a comment below. Hit the like button. We'll see you next time. Class dismissed.